Uh, Donis and BJ both came in, and those are two guys that kind of like Matt Williams, who's out this year, in the gym all the time. In the gym, in the weight room, always trying to find a way to get better. Even if it's in the training room, just trying to recover from the long season. But those guys really, really work hard, and it shows on the floor every game. As a true freshman, you're not going to come in like that and have the production they have without being tremendously talented and working very hard. Adonis is definitely a, a big, big weapon when he has the ball in, in his hands. Uh, at any time, I think the opposing defense should be on alert if he's uh, anywhere you know, on the offensive side of the court. He has tremendous range on his jump shot. He shoots a very nice, soft jumper. But again, it comes from his work ethic. He's another young guy that puts the time in when no one else is around. In the summertime, when, uh, you know, you don't, when the coaches aren't around, he didn't have to be told to get in the gym and get extra work in. He did that naturally on his own. And both Adonis and BJ, being local kids, they have taken full advantage of the opportunity to, to come here and, and get up shots behind the scenes. What really brought me here was Coach Jones. You know, he really showed me that I can really grow as a man and as a basketball player here in front of my family and play around everybody that I know. I just wanted to be around good people like BJ, you know, like me and talked about coming here for a long time. So I felt like it was an easy decision once they transitioned into a better conference and coach was stable, you know, they gave him a five-year extension, so he's going to be here. He's a good teammate. You know, he's very unselfish. He doesn't force a lot of shots. He, for the most part, lets the game come to him. He's a great player to play with because somebody like me who likes to penetrate, he's somebody who can help spread the floor so I can get to the lane, and if the defense helps down on me, I can kick it out to him, so we're a great one-two tandem. He puts in a lot of work as well, and he's also young. I mean, he is a freshman, man. He is young, so uh, he's definitely a little clown, but the man, he can really, he really ties up and gets into it when he needs to, especially on the court and in practice and things like that. People could call AD Mr. Smooth just because he has like a, I don't know, just like a chill attitude towards everything. I mean, even when he's on the court, you can see he's kind of just dribbling the ball like, and stuff like that. So, I mean, he's, he's kind of a ladies man too. I could see why people call him Mr. Smooth. Well, when you look at AD, he's one of the top players in the country coming out of high school. and. Uh, he's a tremendous shooter, and I think he wanted to stay local, be so his family can see him play. I think he understands how special UCF is and what a great institution and a great place to go to college, not only for basketball. we got all the great facilities and a great league, but also have a great academic and a great student life. And he saw that wrapped in one right here at home, and they gave him an opportunity to play in front of family and friends and have an impact on this team. And I think when you look back at his decision making, he saw Keith Clanton came here, had a great career from OCP. I think he felt he could follow in that footsteps. But when you look at AD, he's a uh, tremendous basketball player, has a great feel for the game, knows how to shoot the basketball, and really is a, one of our smartest basketball players. Can understand how to play at multiple positions and really keeps growing every day because he has tremendous knowledge of basketball.